Over the last few weeks, I have been getting a lot of emails about, do I need to start buying silver and gold and put all my money into that and everything else? Look, folks, you can't eat silver and gold. You can't survive on it. You can use it to barter things, maybe to buy things at a certain point in time. But right now, if you're just beginning, you need to be concentrating on putting some stuff in your pantry and emergency supply in your home. You need to be concentrating on doing the following things that I'm going to list off here. Not so much concentrated on taking all your money and putting all your money into uh, one basket. We never want to put as preppers all our eggs in one basket. Well, that is something that we just don't do. Um, I do not uh, encourage anybody to do that. I am not a financial advisor. If you feel the need that you need to put all your money into silver and gold, then by all means, do so. But make sure that you have everything else in line first before you go and do something on that scale. And what I want to cover today is just some quick things to help people out there understand where I'm coming from. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to cover some quick stuff here, folks, and I hope that everybody can follow right along. To start off with a two-week supply to a four-week supply in that area, the federal government, FEMA, even states that you need to have a three to seven day supply of food and water in case of emergency, natural disaster, or anything else. So what we're going to do is, real quick here, we're going to run through some items that you may want to put your money into right now. Fruits, let's just say. You know, dried fruits, uh, plums, apricots, raisins, if you like raisins, applesauce. Jarred would be preferred. Yes, I know you can buy the individual servings and everything else. Um, but if it's in a glass jar, it's going to last longer. And it's going to be less to damage, in a sense, if you are storing it properly. You want to have all different types of cans of fruit so that you have a nice variety. Whatever it is you like. If you like pears, peaches, pineapple, any of these things. When we're talking vegetables, you want to have anywhere between 14 and 21 cans of all different types of vegetables. Mix and match them, all right? Don't put all in green beans. Unless that's all you eat, that's fine. If that's all you like as far as canned vegetables is green beans, then by all means, do it all in green beans. But if not, mix it up a little bit. You want to make sure that you have tomato sauce. You also want to make sure that you have packages of like dried corn, if you can get a hold of it, dried corn. Um, potatoes and onions, you can store regular potatoes and onions. Potato flakes and onion flakes, onion powder, um, that type of stuff would be something good to have on hand. Uh, just because if it is the powder form and stuff, as long as it doesn't get moisture to it, you should be fine. With your dairy, buy powdered milk. All right. Or if you want, pick up condensed milk. Water, you need a gallon of water per person per day. That's a give me right off the top. That's a big one for people to store, but that's what you need. Your proteins and stuff that you really want to make sure that you do have that goes along with your grains and this type of stuff. But your proteins are a big one, folks, because you want to make sure that you have plenty of canned chicken, plenty of canned tuna, plenty of canned beef. Now, you can get all kinds of beef and stuff in the cans. Um, lots of cans of beans, your favorite soups, so like a cream of mushroom, a cream of celery. Um, if you like tomato soup, you could do that. But you want something that's kind of like a cream in a sense because then it is better for you to make a meal with and cook with. And you also want to make sure that you are looking at a large jar of peanut butter. 
peanut butter goes a long ways. It's great protein. And you can eat that on crackers, bread, whatever you may have. Now, moving on down the line to your grains, something that you really want to stock up on as the number one thing is rice. Make sure you have at least a 10-pound bag of rice. No less than 10 pounds. You want bags of beans. Now, it depends on what kind of beans you like. It's what you're going to buy. But you want bags of beans. But make sure you have regular beans like kidney beans, um, black beans, uh, cowboy beans. What, whatever kind of bean it is that you like, you get the idea. Crackers. All kinds of different kinds of crackers. You also want to make sure maybe you have kids or maybe you enjoy cereal. Make sure that you do have some cereal. Now, we're talking this is for a two to four week emergency supply kit. All right, folks. So make sure you have cereals. Oatmeal is great. You can do the instant oatmeal where all you have to do is heat up hot water and pour it in there. But make sure that you do have oatmeal of whatever kind it is that you do like and that you can prepare. Now with your, your sweets and things of this nature, you make sure that you have sugar. I would highly suggest picking up your jar, your favorite jelly just to have on hand. And maybe some cookies. Now here's the thing i'm not talking about oreos or chocolate chip cookies you want to get a hard cookie something that's going to last for a while so what you want to do is you want to go to the store and you want to look for like oatmeal cookies ginger snaps all those different types of cookies because they're a hard cookie and they will last longer than oreos chocolate chips and all this kind of stuff you don't have to worry about getting them warm like with the chocolate chips you know the things will melt and you got a mess, especially if you've got kids. Just giving you some ideas here. Some of the other things that you really want to think about having in a emergency two to four week supply is cooking oil, vegetable, granola, olive oil, whatever you like. I would highly suggest going with vegetable or peanut oil if you're going to be cooking over a gas stove or fire because they tend to do better with the heat you want to make sure that you do have baking powder and flour and bouillon cubes you also want to make sure that you do have coffee tea you want to make sure that you have pasta however much pasta you if you like pasta i would highly suggest that you have lots of pasta on hand um peanuts any kind of peanuts and this type of stuff you know they do last for quite a long time and then something sometimes people don't think about is all these nutritional drinks that are out there now um you can pick those up in the store and they have a pretty long shelf life on them and you could have one of those in the morning to get you up and get you going with your coffee so if you didn't have to cook or anything you could have a nutritional drink that helps give you a little boost of energy to get you going throughout the day you also want to make sure that you do have all your different types of medications and you know things of that nature your first aid one important aspect of this whole video and all these things that i listed off of is you want to make sure that you do have a way to cook in an emergency type situation we're talking a two to four week supply of what you do need because let's face it folks you can't eat silver and gold so as long as you have all this stuff off your checklist and you want to spend your money on silver and gold and you want to have a backup by all means go for it but if you haven't and you're not prepared i suggest you start with the basics and then work your way up to the wants this is the needs that you have to have the silver and gold is the wants that you may want to have extra on top of your needs so i'm survival preparedness for beginners thank you for joining me on this video today i really do appreciate it i hope you all stay safe keep prepping and by all means remember you can't eat silver and gold so as long as you have everything off your checklist having a little bit of silver and gold might be all right but if you're just starting out don't start at the top and work your way down Start with the needs first, and then go to the wants. 
It's the smartest way to do it, folks. Till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.